Today, we will see how to create aliases and make it the new username of your Microsoft Certificate account. In other words, how to change your email address after creating an alias. We will also see different scenarios that could explain why you may want to use email aliases. By the way, if you want to jump directly on how to do this, you can use the timestamp in the description and go to the part of the video that is of your interest. Now, let's start by explaining what an alias is and where and why you can use it. An alias is like a nickname of your email address. And if you want, you can make it your new username within the Microsoft 35 Admin Center. Or you can just use it as another email address. If anyone sends an email to any of your aliases, it will be received in your mailbox as well. Aliases allow you to have several email addresses in a single mailbox. Sometimes people call it forwarder when they actually means alias. It is probably because an alias can be created with a forwarder in all email services. If my email is, for example, carlos.salas at mydomain.com, I may want to create an alias called carlos at mydomain.com. In this case, this alias make it my email address shorter and easier to remember by other people. Once you create an alias, you can easily make it the new username or principal username of your Microsoft 35 account. This is an easy way to change your email address. When you change your username or email, the previous email address becomes an alias automatically. Now, if you have multiple domain names in Microsoft 35, you can also create alias under a different domain name, like for example, carlos.salas at myotherdomain.com. Before you can do this, you will need to add and verify your additional domain name in Microsoft 35. Here is a video that explains how to add additional domain names in Microsoft 35 Admin Center. It means that you can also rename your email address to an email with a different domain name. This is particularly useful if you are changing your business name and the domain name as well as part of this change. Email aliases can be very useful for small businesses where a person needs to wear different hats, like a sales support administration. You can create aliases like a sales at mydomain.com or support at mydomain.com, for example. All this without adding additional mailboxes or licenses to your subscription. As you can imagine, you can add multiple aliases to every user. Managing aliases within Microsoft 35 can be very useful for your business. Let's now see how to create an alias and make it your principal username. Here are the steps that we will follow. We will access the Microsoft 35 Admin Center then we will select a user and we create a alias. Then we will make the new alias the new principal username or email address. And finally, we will review some considerations after changing the username. To access the Microsoft 35 Admin Center, we need to log in into our Microsoft account. We can use different URLs like login.microsoftonline.com or portal.office.com. Then we enter our username or email address. In our case, for this example, it is going to be carlos at itb.cloud. Click on next and we enter our password. Here we click either yes or no, depending on our preferences. Once we have accessed our Microsoft account, we should access the Microsoft 35 Admin Center. Be aware that you need the admin role in order to access the admin center. You may find the admin icon here if you don't see it, you can click on the nine little dots on the upper left corner to expand. And then here, you should be able to find the admin icon. Again, if you have the admin role. So we click on here. Within the admin center, we can click on the three little dashes on the upper left corner to expand the menu. And we can click on users, then active users. You will find all the users that you have under your Microsoft 35 tenant. Now you need to select the user that you want to add the alias. We're going to select this one, Carlos Salas. We will see the details for this user. 
on the right side, we will see aliases and we can click here on manage username and email. On top, it will be displayed the principal username or email address, which is carlos at itv.cloud. In this case, this is my primary email address and my username as well. Below, I will see the sections where I can add aliases. As an example, I'm going to create a new alias, which is going to be carlos.s. I will be able to select the domain name where I want to create a new alias, and it will display all the domain names that you have added to your Microsoft 365 tenant. In this case, I have my primary or default domain name, which is itv.cloud, and I have an additional domain name, which is askitv.xyz. I will leave it with itv.cloud. Then I will click on add, and my new alias will be displayed below, carlos.s at itv.cloud. I'm going to add another alias, like for example, accounting at itv.cloud. Click on add, and now I have added another alias. Now I should click on save changes. From this moment, my new aliases are now active. It means that if anyone sent an email to accounting at itv.cloud or carlos.s at itv.cloud, I will receive those emails as well. Now let's say that I want to change the primary email address or my main email address to carlos.s at itv.cloud instead of carlos at itv.cloud. To do this, I should click on the three little dots that I see here on the right of the alias and I will see the options, change to primary or I can delete the alias as well. In this case, I'm going to change it to primary and if I look at the detail here at the primary email address or username, I will see that it is now carlos.s at itv.cloud. The next step is save changes. We need to be aware that as soon as I save the changes, the user will need to start using carlos.s at itv.cloud as his primary email address. When he's going to log in, he will need to use this address as well. If the email address is configured in any device like a phone or tablet or an email client like a Microsoft Outlook, the user will need to update all those devices because the username has changed from now on. Now I'm going to click on Save Changes. Since I just changed the username for myself, the admin, I will need to log in again with the new username. I will need to select a new username. In this case, I'm going to log in as carlos.s at itv.cloud. Before, I had to log in as just carlos at itv.cloud. Click on Next and enter my password. I will access again the admin center. We go to users, active users, and I will see that the user is not carlos at itv.cloud anymore. It is going to be carlos.s at itv.cloud. If I click on the user and then click on manage username, I will see that carlos at itv.cloud has become a new alias. So people will still be able to send emails to this old email address but my new email address is going to be carlos.s at itb.cloud. After doing these kind of changes, the password will remain the same. The only thing that we are changing is the username and the primary email address. Also, when the users log in to OneDrive or any other Microsoft service, he will have to use the new primary email address or username. Aliases is one of many tools that can make your email servers more flexible for your business. Microsoft 365 also provides forwarders, groups, share mailboxes, email rules, and many others. If you want to learn more about these tools and managing your Microsoft 365 service, I suggest you to stay tuned with my channel. You just need to click the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.